it's actually what I need because if you don't, if you meet up with uh, Satoshi and the others beforehand, that scene with Naho will never play even if you have all five of her notes. So you have to do that before meeting up with her. Yeah, Naho drops the okay. statue. The statue is needed for the true ending because I get another thing that gives me an item yeah. that I use to appease Sachiko. One for the biggest jump scare ever. There's surprisingly not a lot of jump scares in here. It leaves for the story to uh, kind of cause uneasiness and everything else. Are you serious? Well, there was no body, but Morishige was beyond saving at that point, I think. But why? Wish everyone would stop dying so easily. Class rep. I fucked your boyfriend. <laughs> I guess the only one left is Miss Yui then. God, how can you be so matter of fact about it? As a matter of fact, I'm not. I, um, um, sorry. I think it goes without saying that none of our friends who died here would want us to join them. We all want to get out of here, so let's just cling to that desire and keep moving forward. We know the way out. So even with things a little bleaker now, there's still that hope for us. We're almost there. All we have to do is find Miss Yui, and then we can finally escape this living hell. No. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. Nakashima, I have something of yours. Oh, my student ID! I like the everyone gets fucked ending. It's so much funnier watching Ayumi make Naomi beg for the paper scrap before she burns it. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just fun watching her be evil. I only saw, like, the canon and the, yeah. The true ending. And this too. Hand it over the baby statue. Here, have a baby. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get the ID back to you sooner. You must have been freaking out about it if you knew the way out. No. No. Yes. <laughs> Believe me, I was. Believe it! I'm a bitch. <laughs> well then, don't go losing that scrap again, okay? Believe it! Thank you so much, you have no idea what a relief it is to have this back. Believe it! Shinozaki! Uh, Shinozaki, nice job finding that. I can't even tell you how much of a load off our minds it is. No problem at all. <laughs> uh, oh, but check this out. I took another look at these pages after we had our little talk with Naho, and all the bloodstains have vanished. You can read every word clear as day now. Kibiki, I'm so sorry my readings were too broad, naive. There's some plain spirits. That ASAP, real danger. I thought we'd be able to get back easily through the way out strategy I detailed, but these child spirits are bound here in a very particular manner. It won't be quite so simple to achieve. Doing so will mean appeasing the malicious spirits that dwell here to unlock the gate that cuts through the plain, plainer void back to the world we know. Using the technique before fulfilling this condition could be unimaginably dangerous. There's no telling what might happen. Does that mean... Yeah, this plain air void that separates Heavenly Host from the real world was created by Yuki and the others, and it's totally surrounding us. So if we did this reverse Sachiko charm thing right now, we still wouldn't be able to get back. It would block our way. So we really don't have to get Sachiko to repent. So we really do have to get Sachiko to repent and appease the other child spirits in order to get home. Okay, let's give it our best shot. We're almost there, right? Alright. Place is shifted again, which means... Fuck, that's the bathroom. <laughs> which means, fuck, that's the bathroom. I always forget that that bathroom is there, because it never serves any purpose. But now these blo these holes that were in my wire blocking my path down here are easily gone, and I can do this. Logged into the world. Yep. Even Heather made that joke. Dude, I'm serious. <laughs> I... Alright, let's take Ayumi and Yoshiki and... Fuck, what are we- Oh, right! Right. Yeah. yeah. 
that he fell in that hole when I even threw it to Naomi. I had that joke too. Like, it'd be funny if there was a variable that did that like, yeah, here you go, oops. <laughs> Cross this bridge. Stop! Listen! What's wrong? There's something here. Huh? Hey, really something down this hall? Okay. No. There definitely is. Be very, very careful. We're hunting rabbits. Question mark room. Look, a giant demonic pentagram. Wonderful. Something wrong? This room seems to be set up for black magic or witchcraft or something. How do you figure? I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Come on, we should keep moving. You said there was a presence out by the incinerator, right? It doesn't matter. She ends up telling him to go ahead first anyways. Uh, actually, how about you go on ahead, and I'll catch up with you. No. Uh, okay. But don't take too long. Didn't we learn to not do this? She didn't have a choice. I know. Huh? What was that voice just now? I didn't say any of that. I didn't mean... I didn't say that! That's not what I said! That's not what I said! Oh, you stupid motherfucking piece of shit! I'm a big stupid monkey man that yells, is what the caption said. <laughs> Shinozaki! Hey, Shinozaki! What? What is it? No! God, no! Kishinuma! Kishinuma! Am I trapped in here? Open up! Come on! Somebody open the damn door! Come on, please! It's it's open. See, look, it's open. There's your teacher. Oh, look at that! Yay! Hey, look at that! You can fucking leave, but you know. Am I ever glad to see you? And alive, no less. Are you all right? No, I'm locked in here. Now I'm hearing I don't know how to get out through the door on the left. Now I'm hearing Miss Yui's voice. This turns out to be a fake, too. I'm really gonna lose it. I think I'm turning Japanese. What are you talking about? Come on, over here. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Dumbass. Except for all the blood. It really is you. Where have you been all this time? We've been worried sick. I'm so sorry. It must have been terrifying in here all by yourself. Where has she been? Oh god, Miss Yui, you're injured. Pretty severely, too, from the looks of it. Ah, oh, it's okay, bookshelf fell on me. Nothing bad. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, wasn't it like that, that like, the last we ever saw of her? Was her yeah. supposedly dying, getting killed by the bookshelf? Well, no, uh, the uh, spirit lets off the bookshelf, she gets up and walks away, and that's the last we see of her. Oh, I don't remember that. We see her for a special ending titled Extra End, but that's only in Chapter 3. I didn't actually get to watch all of chapter two. My arm is in bad shape. Shinozaki, come on, stand up. We're getting out of here. <laughs> Baby, are you down, 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 down? Uh, quickly, grab hold of my leg. Climb up my body. Uh, Miss Yoey, no! Quickly! Or you are getting to tension, young lady. I can't support both our weights with one arm for much longer. My fingers are... Hurry, Shinazaki, you'll fall in too. I'm good. I, I know. My fingers... I can't... Hold on. Oh, fuck. I'd imagine holding on to that with a broken-ass arm. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you're almost there. What's up, Yoshiki? Hey, why don't you two assholes like pull her up or something? Grab her hand. No, don't. I'll climb up on my own. This floor could collapse at any minute. You two need to get out of here. Okay, that was why. But. Do it! And Kishinuma, take care of Shinozaki. 
Well, all this time spent talking, bitching, complaining, winning. You could have just pulled her up. I know, right? Because that makes too much sense. Shinozaki, come on. Shinozaki, be strong. No matter what happens, I'm be all strong. All this time spent talking. Could have pulled her up. Could have been done with it. Could have been done with it by now. You have abilities that can outmatch anyone else's. Unless if it's pulling people up. And once you get out of here, I know everything's going to work out just fine. All people are talking. You know, with still that. Still talking. You know, with that dream of yours we were talking about. You can still pull me up. Now get the hell out of here. After pulling me up. Oh my god, you people are stupid. Don't you understand the gravity of the situation? Go. That you could now. have pulled her up five times by now. Six times. No. Seven. No. Miss Yui. Miss Yui. Shizaki, come on. We have to move. Let go of me, I don't care anymore. Listen, you may be willing to let Miss Yui's sacrifice go to waste, but I'm not! This is what she meant when she said, Be strong, damn it! Sniffle heck. Osama? Osama? <laughs> It's the principal. Oh. Uh oh. Don't mind me. Just gonna disappear. Oh, damn, that's right. I missed that scene. Oh, well. Good scene. Uh, there is a special scene with uh, Ayumi and Yoshiki where you can actually figure out what happened in, like, a visual form. Oh, of, like, the principal and stuff? Yeah. I forgot about that, too. I did, too. But I that's... know you still get to see him do the one thing. Yeah, but there's an actual thing that takes you into the past and shows it with, like, a special CG scene or whatever. I'll just get it when I do the canon ending. Yeah. I forget, because it appears in the same room as Nalho, but it's after they meet up that you can see it. What a strange-looking incinerator. Almost seems like something you'd see in a crematorium. Man, this was the weirdest element What's of school ever. Ever. That. I don't have Outlast. Looks like somebody... Th threw something in there. That's very yellow. You can see a yellow ribbon a few feet in, covered in soot. I think it's the ribbon from from Sachiko's dress. But it's just out of reach. Oh my eye. Arms not quite long enough. No 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 no. You gotta read it in the voice of William Shatter. You have to be like Arms not quite long enough. I can't reach this yellow ribbon. Maybe I don't actually need it. Now, exclamation point. From the darkness. From the darkness within the incinerator. The figure of the girl, a girl, can faintly be seen. She's squatting with hands around her knees. Also, I don't like torrenting because I like supporting developers and shit. <laughs> oh, boy. Whoa. Oh, my. It's. <laughs> it's Sachiko. It's Sachiko. No. <laughs> <laughs> upon, meeting, upon meeting your gaze, she spins in place and begins crawling deeper into the machine until she vanishes from sight. Gasp! Yes. That's what she get for watching the ring. Oh, well, then fuck them. <laughs> what the hell? It's pretty cramped in there. It looks like maybe, with a little effort, you could crawl down pretty far through this thing. Actually, look over there. There's a tiny pinprick of light. Might be a room or something. Or it could just be a, you know, uh, the pilot light. Go to lead us any. Incinerator. <laughs> Wait, are you nuts? This is an incinerator. What if somebody lights it up while we're inside? Shh, no one would do that. Nobody lights up. Good point. Okay, you wait here and I'll go by myself. Good point. You go first. Ali oop. Okay, fine. I'll go too. You dumbass bitch. 
I told you to wait at the top. Yeah. No way, I'm coming with you. Damn it. Well, be careful in here, okay? There's some pretty thick clumps of dust and ash that you'll get yourself caught on if you don't watch out. Thanks. This sounds like the weirdest scene taken out of context. This sounds like them having making baby loving time. Damn. It's a tight squeeze in here. <laughs> <laughs> We've come pretty far. <laughs> but it seems like we're still only about halfway. <laughs> so long to get the shit done. Baby, baby. <laughs> uh, maybe it's because the ceiling's so low that I can't even come close to standing up. Too big to fit. But I've honestly never felt this uneasy before in my life. During sex. If the exits all get blocked, I could wind up stuck in this position forever. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with me? I don't know why you're doing it down here. I shouldn't think about things like that. Man, my elbows are sore as hell. Doggy style sucks when you take it in the butt. <laughs> Never seen so much dust and ash before. We can't keep breathing this in. Ow. Anything that isn't just fucking talking, every fucking Japanese chick or woman sounds like they're either orgasming or in pain. <laughs> hey, you alright? Just prick my hand a little. There's some kind of metal wire in here. Good to know. Turn back. Please. No, fuck it, keep going. It doesn't matter, I think they still have it. Well, that clinches it. There's definitely something in here. Come on. Oh, uh, okay. Turn back. Stay away. Didn't I tell you to turn back?